When discussing issues that affect the youth, we always talk about them, but never with them. This project allows teens to be at the forefront of creating solutions for their peers and generations after. We have created a dynamic group of young people who represent the youth of West and Southwest Philadelphia. They are our youth in charge and they are our youth advisory board. I do think teen pregnancy is a problem because it's an occurring thing that happens like in many, 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 many communities. Um, I agree that pregnancy, well, teen pregnancy is a problem because it like messes up people's future. A lot of ages of uh, girls getting pregnant like from 9th grade to 12th grade, it's getting worse every year. I do think it's a problem and I think it's a growing problem. Every now and again when I do catch this up, where when I'm going to school I see like people pushing strollers and people around my age. It'll be coming to the point where I see like five each year I've been in mastery. Younger and younger people were having babies. Younger like 13, 14. Not enough attention. That's what I think it is. Because sometimes they might have other siblings, their parents, younger siblings they have to take care of and they just gotta about things on their own. I think they want to feel needed because like some people like the, the, the prison rate is high so a lot of people don't really have their parents so they want to feel like how to be loved and how to be needed and how people need the attention. It's basically becoming a trend. Like even in my school I see it over and over. A lot of people have kids and they're like oh my daughter looks nice in this so they make it like a fashion show. Sometimes it's mistakes. People don't use condoms because it's for the better feeling. Not being like fully educated on how to protect yourself from sex. If a boy pressuring you or a girl pressuring you to have sex, like you're not really thinking about a condom or anything, you just want to have sex. I don't worry about getting pregnant, but then I do. Well, that's something I never worry about because I, I always use condoms 100% of the time. Well, I'm worried about it because it, it's like there is the slightest chance. Some girls feel that having a baby will make their partner stay around. Some girls want to just want to feel love. I'm worried about it because it can't happen easily. But I do a lot of stuff to prevent it from I I know my best friend. She got me. Um, yes, my best friend is actually my mom was a teen parent. Seeing her like struggle from job to job and trying to make a better way for me and my brother. And I think the hardest thing is not having freedom or being able to spend your money how you want to spend it. And when you they had the right mindset, they could do what they want and not like be negative. I think teens just go to each other for stuff. Cause they scared to talk to their parents. And then they scared to talk to their doctors. Uh, me personally, I think that um, I already know how to handle having protective sex. So I don't think I need to go for uh, adult assistance. I mean, if I really had to, I would go to my uncle. Um, teenagers have more free time than they do, than they do activities getting involved in different stuff. It would really help if um, we had other extracurricular activities after school. Better like sexual ed classes or HRCs, you know. Cause that's where I learned in my school they have something like that in classes and it's like a mandatory class. Yeah, I educate people more because a lot of people don't know the consequences of having sex. I think they should have more classes on STDs and other types of healthcare because maybe that will scare some teenagers. More enrichment activities such as like like study book clubs or anything, like homework clubs. They can do like other things like debate classes, poetry. Programs that, that teenagers like, like basketball, football, cheerleading, and dancing, stuff like that, I think that, that, that will help. So let's not make the decisions for them, but let's make decisions with them. As a community, as a city, and as leaders. What are we going to do to make our teens healthier and safer members of society? Today, join the Family Planning Council in its efforts of reducing the teen birth rates in West and Southwest Philadelphia.